And what made you hasten from your people, O Moses? He said, They are close on my footsteps, and I hasten to you, O my Lord, that you might be pleased. Allah said, Verily, we have tried your people in your abs absence, and as Samiri has led them astray. Then Moses returned to his people in a state of anger and sorrow. He said, O my people, did not your Lord promise you a fair promise? Did then the promise seem to you long in coming? Or did you desire the wrath should descend from your Lord on you? So you broke your promise to be disbelieving in Allah and worship the ca worshipping the calf. Moses sees the idolaters. Allah the Exalted revealed that revealed what happened further on Moses' return. Moses said, O oh Aaron, what stopped you when you saw them going astray, that you followed me not according to my advice to you? Have you then disobeyed my order? He, Aaron, said, O oh my son of my mother, seize me not by my beard, nor by my head. Verily, I feared lest you should say you have caused a division among the children of Israel, and you have not respected my word. Moses said, And what is the matter with you, O Samiri? Why did you do so? Samiri said, I saw what you saw not, so I took a handful of dust from the hoof, of, hoof print of the messenger Gabriel's horse, and threw it into the fire in which were put were put the ornaments of the Pharaoh's people, or into the calf. Thus my inner self suggested to me, Moses said, Then go away, and verily your punishment in this life will be that you will say, Touch me not. You will live along, alone, exiled away from mankind, and verily for a future torment. You have a promise that will not fail, and, to, and look at your Allah, God, to which you have been devoted. We will certainly burn it, and scatter its particles in the sea. The idolater's punishment. However, the punishment which was imposed upon the calf worshippers was severe death. Remember when Moses said to his people, O oh, my people, verily, you have wronged yourselves by worshipping the calf, so turn in repentance to your Creator and kill yourselves, the innocent, innocent, kill the wrongdoers among you. That will be better for you in the sight of your Creator. And then he accepted your repentance. Truly, he is the one who accepts in repentance, the most merciful. Therefore, the crime of worshipping the calf did not pass unpunished. Moses commanded the elite of the children of Israel to pray to Allah for forgiveness and demonstrate their repentance. He chose 70, uh, 70 out, of the, out of them and ordered them, Rush towards Allah and repent for what you did and ask his forgiveness for what you left. Moses' people demand to see Allah. Moses returned to Mount Sinai with the seventy elders, and there, and there he communicated with Allah. The elders heard Moses speaking with his Lord. Allah spoke to Moses directly. This was perhaps the last miracle that they would see, and it was hoped that it would be sufficient enough to convey the religion to their hearts forever. However, the seventy elite who heard the miracle were dissatisfied. They said to Moses, who heard the miracles were dissatisfied. They said to Moses, O oh Moses, we shall never believe in you till we see Allah plainly. This was a tragedy that amazes one. It was a tragedy, tragedy that indicated those who were hard-hearted and who continued to hold on to sensual and material concerns. Their stubborn demand was rewarded with punishing lightning, bolts, of, uh, bolts and a violent quaking that stupefied their souls and bodies at once, leaving them dead.
Moses prays for his people. Moses knew what ha what happened had happened to the seventy elite and was filled with sorrow. He prayed to his Lord, entre entreating him to forgive them, for they were fools. Foolishness is only expiated with by death. Allah forgave the elders and revived them after the de after their death. Allah, the exalted, declared. Moses chose out of his people seventy of the best men for our appointed uh, time and place of meeting. And when they were seized with a violent earthquake, he said, O oh my Lord, if it had been your will, you could have destroyed them and me before. Would you destroy us for the deeds of the foolish ones among us? It is only your trial by which you lead astray one you will, and keep guided one you will. You are our wali protector, so forgive us and have mercy on us, for you are the best of those who forgive, and ordain for us good in this world and in the hereafter. Certainly we have turned on to you. He said, as to my punishment, I afflict therewith what my will, and my mercy embraces all things. That mercy I shall ordain for those who are the mutakkun, and give zakat, and those who believe in our ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations. Those who follow the messenger, the prophet who can neither read nor write Muhammad, what they find written with them in the Torah and the Gospel. Deuteronomy, Isa, Matthew. He commands them for, for al-Maruf, Islamic monotheism, and all that Islam has ordained, and forbids them from, from al-Munkar, disbelief, polytheism, and all kinds, and all that Islam has forbidden. He allows them as lawful at Tayyibat, all good and lawful, as regards things, deeds, beliefs, persons, food, etc., and prohibits them as unlawful. al khabaith all evil and unlawful as regards things, deeds, beliefs, persons, food. He releases them from their heavy burdens of Allah's covenant and from the fetters bindings that were upon them. So those who believe in him, Muhammad, honour him, help him and follow the light, the Quran, which has been sent down with him. It is they who will be successful. The story of Israelite and the cow, the pious man and his son, Moses stayed among his people, calling them to Allah. It seems their souls were uneasy in a way that the observant eye could not mistake their obstinacy, and chattering about what has become known as the story of the cow was unwarned, was unwarned, un was unwarranted. This topic did not need so many negotiations between Moses and the people, nor did it, nor did it need did it need all their bias. It was said that among the children of Israel there lived a pious man. He was poor but very careful and about careful about how he earned the living. It had to be honestly earned. Everything that he did was done for the sake of Allah, never for selfish gain. On his deathbed his last words were, O oh Allah, I place my wife, my little son, and my only possession, a calf, in your care. Strangely, he asked his wife to lead the calf to the forest and leave it there. He did this because he did not trust the children of Israel, for they were a selfish and greedy folk. After a few years, when the body had grown up, grown up his mother told him, Your father has left you a calf left you a calf in the trust of Allah. It must have grown into a cow by now. The son was surprised. He did not know of any car of any calf all these years and asked his mother where it was. She replied, Be like your father and say, I trust in Allah, then go look then go look for it. 
With a rope in his hand, he went to the forest and prostrated himself before Allah. O Allah, Lord of Abraham and Jacob and Job, return to me in my father's trust. As he raised his head, he saw a cow coming towards him. Uh, it stopped submissively beside him. He tied the rope around its neck and led it to his house. The cow would not allow anyone else to come near it except the young man the young the yo the youth the youth was a pious as his father as pious as his father he earned his living by cutting wood whatever he earned he divided into three equal portions one he gave to his mother one he used for his needs and the last he gave as charity his nights too were divided into the three parts during the early part of the night he helped his mother the middle part or he dev devoted to worship to the worship of allah and during the last part he rested the part the people asked questions about a cow about this a wealthy man died about this a wealthy man died leaving behind an only son who inherited his father's wealth his cousins en envied his good fortune and secretly killed him so that they could inherit it. The dead boy's other relatives came to the prophet Moses and asked his help in tracing the boy's murderer. Moses instructed them to slaughter a cow, remove its tongue and place it on the corpse. This would reveal the murderer. He told them they accused Moses of joking. He replied, he replied, Allah forbid that I be foolish. They questioned him about the type of cow. They said they should slaughter, and he said, This cow is neither young nor mature, but in between the two conditions, so do as you have been commanded. Instead of following his direction, they, they asked him more questions. What colour must it be? What colour must it be? He replied, Really, it is yellow in colour. They still were not satisfied with the, his answer and asked more for more uh, details. Moses replied, It is an unyoked cow. It does not plough plough the soil nor water the tilth, and it and is entirely without marks.